for the meat, then you pick up the bread and swallow it fast before the little buggers can change their mind. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I understand you're keeping a chart, Mr. Harris. I am. Perhaps you'd be kind enough to let me see it in the morning. Certainly. I didn't hear you come in. I tried not to wake anybody. Rupert, how long is this going to go on for? You know what I'm talking about. Do you remember when we used to discuss you becoming a lawyer, studying at the bar and all that? That was when I'd finished the clock. That was when the clock was a few weekends. Not the unpaid work of a lifetime. It's destroying us. No, it isn't. Well, it is me. Piece of fish. No thanks. Don't worry, I caught it myself this morning. Thank you. Can you tell me uh, what you want to hear? Uh, makes no sense. Huh? According to this, we aren't headed for England at all, but for the Americas. Well, we're sailing west, that's for sure. The wind's against us, so Balkans taking us west in the hope that we'll pick up something that'll take us back up the channel. So maybe you are not so far out. This isn't a bloody coracle, I know. You can't turn the British fleet around on a far then. <laughs> Thank you for the fish. Well, on the 18th, we were at 8 degrees 47. I have 9 degrees 2. And yesterday? 6 degrees 10. Well, then you're about 53, 54 miles west of us. How can you be so sure? I can't, Mr. Harrison. Not till I see land. But I know these waters well. I don't think I'm wrong. Mr. Wills, can you show me from the map where we are? Here, sir. You'll see the berry head just there in a moment. Mr. Wills, according to my calculations, we're here. That is the Lizard Rock. We say on this course, it's Dodman's Point we'll be seeing. No, sir. Sir, I've slipped by my machine for 30 days, taking a reading from it every six hours. I am not mistaken. Mr. Harrison, did you ever see Dodman's Point? No, sir, I did not. Well, pray God you never will in a southeasterly like this, or that site will be your last. That is the Blackstone. What do you mean that site will be my last? If you were right, Mr. Harrison, when we are passing up through the manacles with the wind in the southeast, we should be smashed to pieces. Mr. Harrison, that was the Lizard Point, Mr. Wills. And over there is Dodman's Point. I saved my life on it. What's he saying? That is Dodman's Point. You're 60 miles west. Lieutenant Stewart, escort Mr. Harrison below and confine him there until further orders. Excuse me, sir. It's a gallant look how he pulls Eddiston on the starboard bow. I have it. It's the Eddiston, all right. Sorry, we must signal the Admiral. The Admiral is closer than we are. If he can't see our position, who am I to suggest otherwise? Our orders are to keep station. Sir, we have very little time. I can signal the master of the Princess Amelia. Gentlemen, I am going below. Lieutenant Norvler, take charge. Aye, sir. Mr. 
Wills. Send this signal to Princess Amelia immediately. What are they doing? I can't change course without an order from the Admiral. But how can they warn him? Cannon, Mr. Harrison. And we'll have to reply. Mr. Stewart, prepare to put her about. Cannon. Better get below. Bolson Pipe Action Stations have the gun and stand by to fire 15 now. Fifteen rounds. Fifteen rounds, Mr. Sadler. Can we clear the point against this wind? We'll take some time, but we will. We have to. Mr. Harrison, congratulations! <laughs> Boston's mate, all hands on deck. Need every man at his station. We all have you to thank for our lives, Mr. Harrison. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Hi, sir. Mr. Franklin. No, he isn't. What's the matter? Nothing. Don't worry. Good God, man. What's the matter? Come with me. sitting here staring at them. Hardly daring to breathe. That is incredible. Completely and utterly incredible. Is everybody all right? I'm very all right. Is this it? It's beautiful. Harrison, I would like you to take a look at my entry to the log for the second. You will see that it reads that Admiral Balkan fired 15 guns, ordering the fleet to disperse to their destination, which they did in an orderly fashion after giving an answering signal. That isn't true. Yes, I'm showing you this so that you will not suffer from any confusion at a later point. I've also written to the Admiral and informed him of my intention to resign from the service. He has kindly indicated today that he will recommend my appointment as a captain at Greenwich Hospital, a position that I shall be honoured to accept. I trust this makes things clear between us. So, yes, 